What if Goku survived his battle with Raditz? Now, a lot of things would definitely change in the series, but we're going to take a look in this video to see how would things play out if Goku was to survive his battle with his brother. Now, this is assuming that, you know, Raditz doesn't survive, but Goku does. So we're going to take a quick insight and dig into this topic and see, like, what would happen now before we get into the video i need you guys to like subscribe to the channel share this video hit the notification bell for all new updates we got a lot of new videos coming and also i'd like you guys to go follow me over on twitter at the power up 99 we also got the same name for tiktok so go over there and social support on those channels we got a lot of new things coming soon now let's get into the video now First and foremost, as we've seen back in early Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball manga, we see that Raditz shows up in the beginning of Z. And at this point, he's way stronger than Goku and Piccolo. Now, it took both of them combined to try to stop him, and they still were, wasn't enough to pretty much really stop him until Gohan kind of gave them an edge with his secret power. Now... After this, you know, Goku had to sacrifice himself by holding down his brother and letting, you know, Piccolo use his special beam cannon. But there's a couple ways to see Goku surviving this. Now, the first aspect could have been if Goku never let Raditz tell go the first time when they got the drop on him and let Piccolo finish him off. That would have been one way to pretty much finish him. And it would have been over with so or it could be another thing of probably piccolo still using you know the special beam cannon on them and probably Boma and them arrived on time and gave him a sensu bean which pretty much could have healed him and saved his life there could have been that aspect but let's just say something like that played out and goku survives now raditz tell them that you know two stronger saiyans are coming vegeta and napa and at this point, he tells them that they're way stronger than he. So what will play different now? So now at this point, there could have been a couple of things that end up happening. Of course, Goku hearing this and seeing that he's not even a match for Raditz, Goku is going to definitely go into training. The same as always, you know, when Goku fights strong people, he's going to want to go trained. And if he didn't defeat that person, he's going to want to have another match with that person to you know see if he could overcome them until the next challenge so now at this point with goku and them being able to stop raditz goku's still gonna have a goal whether or not if they had any mention of you know vegeta and napa coming he would have still want to get strong enough to be stronger than raditz to realize that there's a power that he wasn't able to really stop on his own so he's going to definitely want to train but by hearing that there's people even stronger and they're coming in a year he's going to definitely push himself to a limit where he's going to want to try to reach a power above what Raditz had now he doesn't know how strong vegeta or napa is so we're going to get into that to see if he would have been as strong to you know pretty much match up to vegeta and napa now but things could still be different. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that I doubt Goku would have gotten strong enough to be stronger than Vegeta. Because even with him knowing this and he went to go train with King Kai, he had to use the Kaioken. And that was the only thing to give him an advantage to pretty much defeat, you know, Vegeta in that first round. But without that, Goku's going to get stomped by Vegeta. Plain and simple because he's not going to... If he survives, he's not going to meet King Kai and he's not going to have that training to learn the Spirit Bomb or the Kaioken. So now Goku is going to pretty much be stuck without that arsenal. But on another hand, this is the first possibility that we might end up getting Goku and Piccolo and Gohan train with each other the same way they did during the three years preparing for the androids. But this time will be a little bit different. And I'll kind of say you'll kind of get a mixture of kind of the same thing of what happened during that time period of the Android Saga with Piccolo and Goku and Gohan training 
and with Goku and Gohan training in the hyperbolic time chamber because now Goku still knows about this room and it's possible he may either take them into that room to get more time out of their training to prepare for the Saiyans and that's definitely a possibility that Goku could use but like he said Goku wouldn't probably spend the whole year in that you know time chamber or the full day because he probably wants to have like outside training so the first thing would things probably would be different because six months out of Gohan's training with Piccolo was just him trying to survive on his own and not really getting trained now the next six, six months is Gohan actually getting trained by Piccolo and at this point we never really talk about how strong Gohan had gotten during this time frame but at the same time Gohan's being scared to not really you know put his power into effect and would have like little moans but mind you Gohan does have rage moments to go back and after fighting Nappa is able to contend with the injured Vegeta for the time being and kind of putting up a fight with him so this definitely shows how much power Gohan has but Goku knowing that Gohan has this hitting power that he's seen showcase against Raditz would definitely be something that Goku would be interested in and Goku would try to cultivate it the same way he did for Cell. He would try to get Gohan to tap into that power and cut loose and pretty much learn how to harness that power. Now this time, instead of Piccolo giving Gohan a survival for the six months, it's a possibility that Goku may probably give Gohan similar training that he had back in Dragon Ball with Master Roshi. And seeing that Goku is a pure martial artist, he's going to probably put Gohan on that training that he had to deal with. And probably maybe even a little bit tougher seeing how powerful Gohan is. He probably will be sparring with Gohan to try to, you know, get his power up as well. And at the same time, Goku will be sparring with Piccolo, who their powers are kind of equal at the time. And would definitely give Goku a better matchup. And at this point, Goku may grow in power faster with a training partner and with Gohan starting to build up and get stronger they would have probably trained Gohan into a better fighting you know I'll say fighting shape than he was at the time of the original battle with the Saiyans now Gohan probably would be least likely to be as scared because he would have Goku there this time in the beginning and probably it may be a difference when the Saiyans show up because Goku will be there to also take on Nappa, which they may have a better chance in taking on, you know, Nappa and defeating him without as much casualties that we get from before with everyone pretty much getting killed off. Now, that will definitely probably change things up a little bit for the fight. But when it comes down to Vegeta, this is where things may get a little bit more interesting because at this point like i said goku will be no match for vegeta even after goku trained with king kai and got that heavy training he probably would not be as strong as he was around around that time frame now another thing to look at possibly is that um we have gohan gohan will probably be goku's trump card to try to like you know have him be on level equal to you know Vegeta or stronger especially with his rage boost and which it's possible Goku may get Gohan somewhat to that level and if all of them is there working it may definitely be a harder fight for Vegeta at this point but the, the bad part is even if they were to pretty much defeat Vegeta or get the like you know the advantage on him he would still have one, he would still have the power to create the artificial moon and pretty much turn into a great ape to take them all out. Or just pretty much do, use his Gallic gun to try to blow up the planet. And I don't think since Goku doesn't have, you know, his Kaioken, he wouldn't be able to push back Vegeta's Gallic gun. So that would result in Earth pretty much being decimated and Vegeta winning. But like I said, when it comes to Dragon Ball and all the Z words, Goku always finds a way. And I think they probably would have came up with another plan. Like I said, at this point, I think the other words would have still been alive if Goku was there. And probably compensate Goku's power for not having a Kaioken at that time. 
and probably help him out in the moment. So there's definitely possibilities to that. But, you know, it's a big possibility that they will pretty much lose if Goku didn't, you know, sacrifice himself during the ride to go get King Kai's training at the time. But at the same time, like I said, he ended up getting help even with all that from Gohan and Krillin. So with everyone there and Piccolo, it's possibility that he probably would have still got help and they probably would have came up with a better plan in taking, you know, down Nappa and Vegeta at this point. So who knows? But I want you guys to get in the comments. And this is just a part one. We may do another video going further to see what would happen if they was to defeat Vegeta. And we'll see how Frieza comes into play. Now, don't forget to drop a like. Get in the comments. Tell us what do you think will happen if, Vegeta, if Goku survived his battle with Raditz.